finished up at the FLW Coastal Western Series up at Lake Shasta in Northern California. Thought I'd take a minute, tell you how my week went, what I used to bring me home a top 30 and a little bit of cash in my pocket. Practice started out, beautiful weather, sunny skies, calm conditions, lots of spotted bass to be caught. Um, very difficult to find fish in the two plus range. Um, in fact, I only caught like three fish, three plus range in practice. But I felt like I was a little dialed in on some areas and had a good pattern going. And I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about how my two tournament days went and what I used to catch all my fish over the last couple days. <clears throat> um, so after the nice weather that we had, Mother Nature threw us a curveball. Started out Thursday morning, rainy, high wind conditions and really didn't know what to expect. So kind of didn't think they would move too far to thought maybe they would get active and maybe we could catch some bigger ones, but um, it didn't turn out to be the case. I started in my first spot, caught three fish on my first three casts, had a limit in 20 minutes, actually caught a lot of fish the first day. Um, but the big bite eluded me. I only weighed in nine, nine and was sitting in 32nd place. Day two, was even more rain and higher winds. Um, we had like gusts up to 40 or 45 miles an hour and I've never seen, I've never even been on Shasta when it's been that bad, but uh, started first, went right back to my starting spot, caught a two, two and a half right off the bat. And then I gotta tell you, I started panicking a little bit. Um, I didn't have another fish in the boat until like 10 o'clock. I caught some shorts and just kept my head down, kept fishing. About one o'clock, the wind laid down. I was able to go out to the main river, one of the main arms I was fishing, and get on some of the long, long sloping points is what I was looking for. And I was getting way out off of them and fishing from eight to 15 feet out on the tops of them. And uh, tried to duplicate what I did on day one, and I did a little bit better. I weighed in 912 yesterday. Uh, gave me, a, finished up in 27th and I was able to bring home a check for my first event of the year, so that, that made me happy. Um, I'll talk to you a little bit about what I feel like was confident for me and how I caught a lot of my fish on. Um, start off with, first and foremost, I was fishing Seaguar Invisex 8-pound fluorocarbon. I absolutely love Seaguar. I've been fishing it for over 15 years now, and if I'm on fish light line like six or eight pound tests, this Invisex, it's, it's stout and it's strong. I didn't break one fish off in the tournament or in practice at all on eight pound test. <clears throat> I had it rigged primarily with a Demiki Mausrin head and a Demiki anchovy shad in baby bass color. So there, that's, that was my primary bait right there. I decided to go with the Mausrin head rather than a traditional ball head because I was, they wanted it real slow and I was having to keep it down on the bottom in the rocks and the Mauser head seems to come through it tremendously better. Um, I know it's not an open hook so I mean I gotta feel the bite and set the hook but um, it just it doesn't lay over and the hook doesn't catch a rock. Um, I just I, I didn't I, I went through two heads in two days. I mean I probably would have went through ten ball heads. <laughs> I customized mine a little bit though I took the Mauserin head and added this screw lock right here to the shank of the hook so I could thread my bait up and make my baits last a lot longer and stay up there. So that's the Demiki anchovy shad, baby bass right there. And that's the Mauserin head in quarter ounce is what I was throwing. I don't really care about the color of the head. They, they make it in black or green, but I like the, I kind of like the green, but. And then I fished, uh, basically I fished one rod. I had I had a couple backup rods set up, but I was fishing this I-Rod 703 with 8-pound Seaguar and Vizex tied up on it. Um, it's kind of a medium, they say it's a medium heavy rod. It's more like a medium rod. It allows me to cast on a bait caster to cast that little quarter ounce weight. I mean, I cast it a long ways. And with the Seaguar fluorocarbon on those long casts with that little stretch, I get good hook sets. So, I think I only had maybe like three fish in two days come off like halfway back. I never got to see them. I don't think they were giants, but um, never broke. And you know, caught, I mean, when I say I caught a lot of fish, 
30 to 50 a day um, and that was in a tournament in practice I was catching 50 to 100 a day one of the other things in that inclement weather that saved my bacon because I get cold super super easy is my storm R striker gear this stuff here kept me so warm and completely dry I absolutely love my Storm R Striker gear for cold, for foul weather fishing when it's cold and it's foul outside. I'd like to give a big shout out to Undercover Truck Lids and Bedrug Bedliners for hooking up with me this year. My new title sponsors got my boat wrapped, my new jersey right here, Bedrug's down here. These two companies have amazing products for your pickup truck. Um, and they even go a little bit beyond like bed rugs got stuff for your Jeep um, they got stuff for your van and undercover undercover makes a full line of hard tunnel covers folding truck bed covers um, the swing out toolbox cases they got some amazing stuff so if you guys are interested in any of their products and you want to know where to get them shoot me a PM shoot me an email I'll send you in the right direction try and get you the best price on your product Again, it's Kevin Stewart. It's my recap of Shasta Lake. I'll see you on the next one.